Hey everybody, today we are taking a look at Cold Sept Revolt, which is a, a game that's uh, just coming to the West, uh, and uh, it's primarily a, a multiplayer game. So, uh, where, where would I find, oh gosh, ah, uh, hmm, where could I find someone to play this multiplayer game with? I don't know, maybe under online? Oh, hey, hey Jenny's here everybody. Yeah, hey, I mean, what a coincidence. We're playing a multiplayer game, and there's another person here. I should say there's a lot of single-player content in this game, but I do think to, to show it off, it's really good to see the competition, you know? Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's basically a board game. Yeah, um, and uh, it's basically a board game where occasionally the AI can cheat. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we are... Uh, we are checking out the the online mode here just to show you what this game is mm -hmm. and uh and where we're gonna jump in um we've had the game for a few days as of this recording um so we don't have all the cards or anything but we we do have a decent amount and we can kind of show you what's going on with this thing plus we both ended up importing this game ahead of time so we have played some of this game that is that is true we have done that yeah, we know what we are doing. But you don't know what we're doing yet. I mean, you know, maybe you do. You probably do Maybe. Don't. Yeah. Well, we're going around a board that is filled with different color lands that represent elements, and we're going to try and take control of it. Yeah, it's. it has been in the past referred to as a Monopoly meets Magic the Gathering, which is not totally wrong. Um but there's a lot more to it than Monopoly, and uh, and if you're not into the unending well that is that is Magic the Gathering, it is entirely possible that you will still like this game. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of cards, but you you can know all the cards, and also you don't have to you don't have to pay for all the cards, which is helpful. Yeah, um, and Graham yeah. just did something a second ago that was a pretty advanced mechanic. You can change the terrain if you're willing you to pay for it. This yeah. is a whole thing. So you you move to places, and you know, like you know, in Monopoly or Fortune Street, for example. Let's say Fortune Street because we we love Fortune Street around here, and also, we do. frankly, this game's a lot more like Fortune Street than it is like Monopoly. Um, that you instead of buying places and charging rent, you summon creatures onto places to hold them and they people only have to pay rent if they can't defeat your creatures um so you know uh mana to summon creatures is your money um and that's that's kind of a, a fun thing boy there's yeah okay here we go um i'm i have an interesting interesting set of stuff here uh what makes the game a lot different from something like Magic the Gathering is I can uh, know what cards Jenny has at all times. That's not secret. And Jenny knows what yeah. cards I have. Um, I do. So it's much more about uh, what has been called Yomi. Uh, it's, you know what people have, um, and it's about knowing what they're using and when they're using it. And right now we're going to have our first battle of the, the game here. Um, yeah. So as you can see, uh, Jenny has a defensive creature who's got 10 strength and 70 hit points, so can't really kill anyone, but just trying to keep yeah. keep the land, right? Keep me from Right, doing pretty that. much. Um, but unfortunately, I, uh, I have this card, um, which, uh, which allows me to win automatically. Now, because of my character, my creature being what it is, it can't use any kind of weapons or equipment, so right. it wouldn't be. A, I don't have any armor right now, anyway. But a defensive creature I, like that is is cheaper to summon because it's not trying to attack, and thus, like, you don't have to pay as much for it, but it can't equip anything. Uh, right. I have a special uh, equipment there that, if it's a defensive creature, it uh, automatically Dies. kills it no matter what, which is a pretty cool card. Uh, that I've I've managed to pick up pretty early, uh, but of course it's not that's not a useful ability if it's not a defensive creature. So you know unless your opponent's running a lot of those, uh, then it yeah. may not be worth running. Um, and right, right now Graham has some pretty good spots already staked out. I am uh, I am running a, a water air deck that is blue and yellow, um, mm -hmm. which means I don't actually have any green or red creatures in here. 
Uh, I'll get to level up. This is like adding houses or something uh, or investing in a property. Um, you you bring it up, and it's it's a bigger cost if you can defend it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so for my deck, I am running uh, fire and water, but I do have some neutral creatures in there as well. But I'm kind of running low on uh, magic, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really do much more right now. So you can look look in the bottom screen over there, and you can see that. Uh, hmm, I don't. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. Um, but you're not going to say that you're winning. Uh, no, the 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 game keeps recommending that I play certain cards. It, if you start playing this game, it can be a little overwhelming. So it's nice that there's this function that says, "Hey, the computer thinks you should probably play this card." Um, it's not the optimal play for all circumstances. It doesn't make playing the game trivial. Uh, but if there's a situation where, like, hey, I'm about to attack someone, which which you know creature should I use? Generally speaking, it probably is going to pick the right one for you. Yeah. Um, like, for example, right now it's pointing toward Holy Word 1, um, which lets you uh, change someone's next dice roll to a 1. Right now I don't want to play that. Um, but it always recommends it because generally speaking, if you can slow down your opponent from getting around the board faster, and if you do a full lap and hit all the, uh, hit all the checkpoints, then you get a bunch of mana. Um, that's advantageous. But for right now, I want to keep that. What I do want to play is this card, which is the Goblin's Lair, um, which allows me to play a goblin where I'm standing. Um, which seems like, you know, a straightforward thing. And actually, I'm going to get rid of Holy Word 1 so it'll stop asking me to play it. Um... Uh, but what you can do is, you know, you can summon a creature when you when you land on a space uh, using that goblin thing. The goblin's not a very strong creature, but you can use it in a different point in the turn. So instead of, like, for example, I could play something here now, uh, but instead I want to I want to upgrade a territory, which means I can't summon something where I am. Yeah, also, your I lands don't. grow ever stronger. My lands do grow ever stronger. Also, I don't have a, I don't have a creature right now, so that's part of the problem. But is it a problem? Because I can have unlimited goblins. <laughs> uh. Unlimited goblins are good. Well, again, they're very weak, but I get control of places. <laughs> Let's see if I can take you down. Oh, no. Okay. So you have a 40-40 coming in there. And uh, mm -hmm. as uh, you can see on the bottom screen I have here, I know you have a claymore, um, mm -hmm. which is the thing you could have, right? Um, yeah. And a claymore is, is it 40 or 50? I'm not going to tell you. I see. Maybe That's I how mean. it goes. Well, we're doing this for the video. This is not, this is not cutthroat. Uh, yeah. But nevertheless, um, you know, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to use this um, to bring my uh, hit points up to 100. And, oh, no, critical, critical hit. Critical hit. Ah. Oh, no. So, yeah, so you have a special ability which allows you to invade. And... Uh, fire creatures generally are good at invaded, invading. Uh, yeah. They're they're very uh, attack focused. Um, and oh yeah, I get this. I uh, I love this creature. This creature's not very good on its own, but oh boy, can In it conjunction. can it boost yeah. everything else you have? It's pretty good. Get rid of the angel cape, please. Get rid of the angel cape. I hate angel capes. I see. Um, yeah. Jenny has angel capes, so if you ever play her online, know that that's that's probably what should what you should be playing. Um, no. <laughs> but one thing we haven't talked about too much is if you see on the uh, the bottom part of the board here, there's a branching path, which makes this much more strategic, right? Um, yeah. That you can choose the side where you know your opponent's stuff isn't isn't there, but um, especially in the the south of the board, you know, if I put important creatures down here, you can just avoid them by going the other direction. So yeah. I don't really want to spend a lot of time doing that oh boy i'm just just goblins i'm not drawing a lot of creatures right now so i'm just it's goblin time goblins everywhere yeah this is like labyrinth oh boy uh-huh you can't use that guy not yet not yet um they're you know they're prerequisites to putting it on the board um i need to Let's see need to control some stuff no, I don't want to use the six right now. Okay. Uh, maybe I should bulk up a territory. Where do you, 
There is a chance you could land on that. But sure. Yeah, what the hell. Sure, I'll... Oh, move creature. Why would it want me to move creature? I don't want to move that. <laughs> is it recommending that to you? Yeah, it's recommending I move the... I just want to see where it's recommending I move this. No, I... oh, to move on to your thing. Oh, could I defeat you? May Am I maybe. strong enough? Maybe... No, I'm going to give that a try. Okay. Uh, oh, recommended. okay. Move. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's probably fine. Nothing bad can happen there. Um, so Jenny doesn't have any a attacking Attack things. Items. So And you can't equip any uh, defensive item. Well, you know. You know. And you don't have the land effect bonus because Look. you placed a water thing on a wind area. Look. Mm-hmm. You're going to lose that wall of ice, aren't I, you? Yep. There's a reason that the AI is like, hey, you can just win that battle. Go do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, so Jenny's winning. Uh, and I got to do something about that. <laughs> and for the first step is to play another a goblin. goblin? <laughs> um, which, you know, I, I got a bunch of goblins. They're not scary, but... Uh, as you see, I keep getting that card back, uh, but I have to discard a card in my hand to do it, um, mm -hmm. which, which is an interesting option. That it, it, it consumes Ooh. a card, but I can keep playing it. Um, now I'm here, and every time you get to a checkpoint, your your creatures are are no longer fatigued, which is to say you can use them again for stuff. Yeah. Um, but for example, hey, what what if I bring out this? Hmm. No, actually, I like that a whole bunch. What about the angel cloak? You can give her the angel cloak. No. No, I'm going to keep the defensive item I need. That's... You got a lot of attacks, so I'm going to try to defend. That's not... It's not crazy. You should just go the wrong way. You know, I think I am going to go the wrong way. Because you want to summon stuff and take over territory. It's... Yeah. I say wrong way. It's... You're getting the checkpoints slower, more slowly. I'm tired, uh, but you know, I yeah, I got I got this thing, uh, which hmm. Let's get rid of this goblin in my hand. I don't, I don't want it. You don't need any more goblins, really. I don't need more goblins. I have enough goblins. Okay. Uh, but for right now. I'll uh, Ooh. put the right creature in the right place. You did. You did exactly that. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a uh, there's a lot to this game. Uh, hey, look! Which I just think took is... another red uh, territory. Yeah. Wow. Look at all. Look at all that red. I definitely, definitely don't, red. definitely don't care about that though, uh, <laughs> because I am I'm rolling three dice, which means I'm out of here. Um. <laughs> Hmm, it wants me to go that way. I don't feel like it. Not that it matters, but you can always yeah. uh, kind of manipulate your path to go to different positions. Mm -hmm. um, let's... Yeah, sure, you should do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, you know, you can't avoid that spot, so... Yeah. Let's Wait. see. It's recommending I go to the space where I already have that checkpoint. Yeah. Why would you do that game? You know, um, okay. hard to say. Let's level up a land. As a uh, yeah. So uh, I got I got some cool stuff. Let's let's move a little bit here. Get back. Um, the deck I have is is mainly built toward quickly building up an economy. Um, yeah. Uh, let's let's take a closer look at the bottom screen here. As you can see, uh, uh, Jenny uh, has has fallen back a little bit in the money race, but that may not be the case with what's going on on, on the field, uh, and has passed the east uh, checkpoint. Since the board's not linear, it's all about passing all the checkpoints. Um, yeah. And you can see Jenny. That's her hand right there. She's got she's got four blue creatures and uh, an attack and a defense item. Right. And uh, yeah, let's. It's my turn again, so let's get. Let's get it back. is your turn again. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, this series has been around since the Saturn, 
it's it's pretty crazy. We uh, we've had a couple of, of versions over here in the West, but we've missed a few of them at this point. Yeah, and um, don't they always have the same voice acting? Yes, and this this voice acting, and also this is the voice acting in Japanese. Um, <laughs> That they speak in English in this game because it's it's heavily built upon you know huh. Magic the Gathering, which is very Western. You hmm. know, this game came out before you know the heyday of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, and these days where uh, where Japanese card games got big. This was you know Magic the Gathering is is big. Let's be like that. Oh, um, yeah. What do you uh what you got over there? Yeah, you got hmm. You got some stuff. I got some stuff. Hmm. Forgot he got that angel cloak. I hate the angel cloak so bad. It always messes me up. Uh, this time maybe not though. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, not this time, but I gave it a try. At least uh, I got rid got rid of that, so that way you're not able to use it anymore. Right. And I got rid of your attack item, right? Um, at the expense yeah. of my creature. Uh, but there's like I said, there's Yomi to it. I knew you had one thing you could use. And mine wouldn't beat it, but I didn't know whether or not you would use it. Um, What's and, that diamond armor? I've never seen that before. You know, I, I guess you're going to have to find out, Jenny. I guess I am going to have to, huh? Gosh, what could possibly happen? It's, oh, man. It seems like it might be defense, but I don't, I don't know. You know, gosh, uh, it, might, it might foil your plans. I don't know. <laughs> My plans are pretty solid. You're, you're not wrong. You know, I get the feeling that you're not going to go that way ever again. Hmm. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and... The one I can't fighter. avoid? Yeah, it seems like yeah. a good idea. Because um, you're never going that way again, are you? You know... <laughs> I'm going to get into this business. Uh-huh. Um, and... Not that these goblins are, you know, air type, but it increases mm -hmm. the chain of air type that I'm getting with other creatures. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, some spaces have no no terrain type at all, and they're a lot cheaper to convert. Mm -hmm. So I can build up chains. You did indeed build up a chain there. Yeah. Um. And you know this, that's my strategy for these games is, is to is to make big swings. And Jenny's strategy seems to be to take a chunk out of me before I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is totally viable. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of strategies you can do in this game. Um, and, hmm. uh, I don't know what I should put over there. The game is recommending I put the wall of ice there. You know, good. No, yeah, I think I will go ahead and do that. I have the land bonus. All right. You see what see I'm doing it? there, right? I'm trying to build up a little extra wall there, so you're stuck either way. Ooh, that was a smart move. I have an air creature on my air property now. Isn't that yeah. exciting? Um, it's very exciting. Yeah, and at a place that you really can't avoid when you get stuck <gasps> up there in the northern path. Look who got another part of the fire territory. Oh, congratulations. Thank I don't you. want any of it. <laughs> um, and we can... You know what? Let's... Yeah. Hey, I, I walked through. Yeah. Have, have a good day, everybody. They were happy to see you go by. They were getting lonely. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and build up one of these new buddies here. <laughs> so, yes, hey we've, we've, both, uh, we've both had a little bit of time with the game. We haven't gotten so far that we have all the, uh, all the rare cards or anything. Uh, but we, yeah. we have fairly even, even decks here. You start uh, the game by either picking a water-air deck or a, a fire-earth deck. Um, and, uh, Ooh, Kelpie? Ugh. Yeah, it's... Uh, has a special ability that only triggers when it does its own water, uh, but yeah, it w it may be on water later, you know. Maybe. <laughs> it's expensive to convert, but that may happen. 
Oh, shoot, I can't afford to upgrade that one part right there. Oh, no, upgrade uh, all of it. Just don't worry about it. Me. Just no, spend your money, and that way when you have to pay me money, you have to sell an entire property. I'm no, okay that won't with happen. it. Uh, are that you sure? Won't happen. Are you sure? No, it won't happen. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, the corn man. That's a really handy one. If you place that one and you end up uh, losing the battle, you get 200 mana. That's right. It's very handy. Mm hmm. Look. Hmm. Oh, look where you are. This is great. Hmm. Hey, little corn folk. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. okay. Hmm. You got some stuff. I have some stuff indeed. But do you have enough of it? Oh, shoot. I don't have enough mana. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, no. I could have. I didn't even need, you know. I don't need no. to be that good, but this corn's just gonna beat up on you. Oh boy! Oh, oh! Bye. <gasps> no, that that was so much. Oh. Bye, your chain. It was a good time for a while. You got a little bit of income this turn, you know. Um, not enough to pay for most things. Well, no, you 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 completed your lap. You got some money. Get in there. What have you got on you? Oh, no, you've got that diamond armor. Shoot. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, no, come on. <laughs> Jump no, no, me. that's okay. See how it goes for you. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. The, com the computer's not recommending you do that one? No, it's not recommending I do that. Funny huh. thing, huh? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, you probably don't need three defensive <laughs> items. Yeah, I think I'm okay. On the other hand, I am going to go ahead and use my gift spell mm -hmm. where I get most of my money back. And, and a dragon? Uh, and a card. Um, hmm. Let's, uh, let's make it harder on you again, shall we? Okay, you're going to pay my toll, though, huh? Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm uh I'm I'm gonna pay you thirty six and uh then you're gonna pay me three hundred and fifty two every time you come up through there. It's probably fine, right? <laughs> probably, yeah. No, oh, no, I'm gonna save that. Your magical leap. Go ahead and leap to somewhere. No, no. Oh here's good. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it, I should have used that leap. <laughs> no, it's fine. Just uh, just use some of your mana to summon someone to die to my creature and then use more. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Uh, now i got to get rid of somebody. Yeah, well, they weren't doing you any good. How do you know that? They could have been doing me real good. I just watched you not be able to defeat my creature with any of your creatures, so that's how I know. I, that was because I didn't have any mana. That was because I was... Well, I, if you had the mana, you, just would, you still wouldn't have an attack... You know, an, an equipment that would actually boost your attack, so. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. On the other hand, how about you're never going to land on that guy, so just go ahead and make <laughs> him valuable. Um, Because value is how you win the game. All you have to do is get to any of these checkpoints uh, with uh, money over the goal, which uh, we're playing a short game, so we're playing to 7,000. I, there's something really comforting about this game um, because it it simulates a lot of the stuff you get to do in you know collectible games and a lot of games that have been free to play lately. But you just pay money and then you get all of it. You get all wait, of the game. Wait, what are you doing? Hmm. What are you doing? I don't know. I really don't actually. No. Um. That. Hmm. Why? Oh, right. Sure. Yeah. I guess I could do that. That's smart. That you know what? Sometimes the computer's smart. Uh, 
You can critical hit me after I already kill you. It's fine. The gladiator's good at invading. Not great at holding the territory once he's got no, it. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. No. Ooh. Oh. Revenge. Oh, no. It worked out fine. No, it didn't. Also, that I paid you 30 for that. It's fine. You got it. You got this. That did, how did that work out fine, huh? I mean, Explain for me, this, it did. For me, it worked out great. Explain how this is working out fine. Because I'm interested in my performance in the game. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, is it game, Jenny? Is it game? Maybe. Is it game? I think it's game. I think I just have to get to a checkpoint. Yeah. Which is going to be pretty easy. It's going to be pretty easy for that to happen. Real easy. <laughs> I think this is game. There it is. Yeah. The goal was achieved. <sighs> I'm the winner of the war. Yeah. There's me. I did it. You did. And so, yeah, you can see how this game is all about, you know, building uh, building your, your spaces and making sure that the opponents definitely can't avoid landing on them. Um, <laughs> there's there's a voice chat uh, available online, and that's pretty cool. It's not good. It's, it's not, not good. great, but it's cool that it's here. Um, and, uh, you know, that's cool. You earn gold while playing, but it's, you know, there's... You just you earn a bunch of gold and you use it to buy packs and it's just a way to you know kind of build up the experience of uh, of playing stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, so there's not there's a lot of single player content too, um, and I just want to show uh, what's going on with that real quick. Um, there's quest mode, uh, solo matches you can just kind of play. Um, quest it's got a bunch of these little mini campaigns. Um, that you get in here and there are their main like this is the main story at the top but you get to go down and do some more maps with some different different we were at the exact, exact same point in the game <laughs> yeah uh you know it has that kind of thing going on there um you have uh a lot of customization you know uh you can you can make your 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 deck building here i got a few decks here um, uh -huh. you got the shop you get in here and, uh, shopkeeper sells you packs. You unlock packs, which is fun, um, with, with different, different types of stuff in them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's comforting and there's definitely some skill into, to building decks and, uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I agree. It is very cool. Yeah. Uh, so that's Eventually it. Eventually, there's DLC too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah I, I mean, mean, you know, extra icons and characters and stuff and book right. designs. Right. Right. But like, if you want the cards, the cards mm -hmm. are there. You you don't have to yeah. worry about you know having to pay for packs with real money or anything like that. Um, right. That's so no problem. That part's cool. Uh, but yeah. yeah, there's there's some cool cosmetics too if you want to do that thing. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, uh, check back and we'll take a look at deck building. Sounds good. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks.